Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord His Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 1st through to the 7th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have Temperance in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, um, the Hangman Reverse. Followed then by the King of Wands in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana Chariot in the upright. And lastly, Major Arcana High Priestess reversed. You have four of your five cards are Major Arcana. Could be a bit of an intense week here for you, Leo. Your overall energy, that Sagittarius energy, temperance in the upright position. The card that represents cooperation, and it's so important to have cooperation from people around us. Some of you are lucky enough that perhaps you have just landed a job that uh, you are working with your kind of people. These are the, this is your tribe, that you're on the same page with things. They're cordial, they're wonderful, sociable, just like you, <laughs> Leo. This um, could also represent um, just come, bringing things back into balance. I call this my baker's card. So maybe some of you are baking this week and having it turn out terrific. This is also a card of healing. It's a beautiful energy. Healing, patience, just um, be very zen this week, <laughs> Leo. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the hangman in reverse. Something that has been held up and been stagnant is beginning to move again. Now, this could be due to you because you're no longer looking at things from a different perspective. You could have decided to now move forward with something or it could be that if you were held up due to others, you're waiting on official words or paperwork or anything like that. You're ready to move forward now. And next card is the King of Wands in the upright position. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You could be dealing with another fire sign, perhaps Sagittarius, Temperance is here. But this is you coming up in your own reading in the upright position, indicating, Leo, you are on the right path with any action that you wish to take this week. Move forward with it. You have the hangman in reverse, which is like a green light. All systems are go, just move forward. You have to move forward with something now. But, you know, use your, your temperance here, your patience, your balance, your, um, your zen. <laughs> just move forward. Just glide, you know, like, like a beautiful ice skater. Just glide across. Just, just do it. <laughs> this is a just do it card here, Leo. Um, the, king, the king of wands, um, first of all, wands do govern travel, uh, excitement, adventure, uh, business and enterprise uh, this could be indicating some of you are starting your own business or going into business with somebody if that's the case move forward move ahead on it for others of you if you are waiting for official documents to come to travel it's time to get moving others of you this could be your your spouse or a significant other and perhaps they're getting moving in some respect could be your business partner even but the king of wands in the upright wants movement wants things to be done in a you know a quick fashion but also in a fun fashion the wands people are all about uh, fun adventure they love to live life to the fullest so Go ahead and move forward. You've got the green light at the beginning of the week here. And you're going to be moving quite swiftly because the chariot is taking you through the end of the week now. This is the Cancer Energy. The chariot is all about fast moving forward. It's like you're a shoe in for success. So all you have to do is basically show up and you are uh, the one that will be chosen for whatever the situation is whether it be a new job or a new relationship or what have you can indicate travel for some of you the king of wands again travel so it could be some of you are doing some kind of travel the chariot can indicate purchasing a vehicle maybe uh, you know, some of you are buying a brand new rv or a motorcycle or you know an ev you're buying something and you're moving forward could be renting an rv to go on a road trip i don't know what's going on here but it's happening and it's happening quick it's a black and white energy here leo you're just moving forward propelling just don't steamroll over anybody's toes and i think everything will be Okay. 
Um, last card you have here, High Priestess in the reverse position. Well, the High Priestess upright points to hidden knowledge, things going on behind the scenes, and we really need to use our intuition. When the card is inverted, this is where um, we uh, now can see something that was hidden behind a veil before. This is about Pandora's box opening. This is about not needing your intuition because now you know the truth of something. Something is becoming very, very apparent and very obvious and very um, thin veiled. Now, for some of you, for some reason, it popped in my head. Let me know in the comment section if this makes sense to you. But for some of you, the high priestess in reverse is representing somebody whom you weren't sure how they felt about you, but now you know. You know, that kind of thing where it's like, I don't know, I'm using my intuition or I'm just trying to feel my way. But then all of a sudden, no, I know now how, how they feel about me. Or it could be some of you are traveling somewhere to find out some information. So, again, let us know in the comment section below. In closing here, it looks like a wild week for you here at Leo. Um, in closing, I will be pulling a card from the... Uh, Wisdom Oracle deck to see what the weekly card is for Leo. We have number 29, Breathe. Remember, I kept saying Zen. Breathe, just breathe. <laughs> do what you got to do. Do it quickly and do it in a, uh, a very Zen-like, like I said, glide. Just glide. <laughs> So that's what I have for you, my dear Leos. I really hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week. And... Um, I also hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.